If you are going to use one of the options that involves running the code on your local computer, which would be either local Jupyter Notebooks or writing code using Spider, then what you need to decide is whether you want to use Anaconda as the system for installing and managing these applications. Anaconda is kind of an umbrella distribution that makes it easier to install all of these uh, other applications at once. That includes Visual Studio Code, Spider, RStudio, and local Jupyter Notebooks. It is possible to install Jupyter Notebooks separately, but the uh, people who are running the Jupyter Notebook system um, actually recommend that if you're going to use it just to install Anaconda. So if you're serious about learning about data science or other kinds of coding, um, Anaconda is maybe the option for you. Some of the packages that are not a part of the normal um, distribution of Python are actually uh, pre-installed in Anaconda. And Anaconda also has a full featured package manager that comes with it is installed as a part of the installation process called Conda. Um, and some people like to use Conda not only to manage packages for uh, Python, but it is actually more broadly applicable to managing other kinds of software as well, although that's beyond the scope of what we're going to be talking about in these lessons. One advantage of using the Anaconda option is if you can't make up your mind and you're thinking, well, maybe you like the IDE option, it's very easy to just switch back and forth because you'll have Spider installed as well as Jupyter Notebooks. So installing Anaconda is um, a good option for these reasons. However, it's not without its pitfalls. One of the biggest ones is that there's a pretty big upfront investment in the time that it takes to download and install Anaconda. Anaconda is a really huge thing, and so it just takes a while to install. Also, because it's a huge thing, it's more likely to cause potential problems in the installation process. Um, in some of my past classes, I've just asked everyone to go ahead and install Anaconda, and I would guess probably 10 to 20% of the people ended up having problems with the installation. Because it's a large package, it uses more hard drive space. If you have a relatively new computer with a, with a large uh, uh, unfull drive, then probably installing Anaconda is not gonna be a big deal for you. However, if you have an older computer, your hard drive's nearly full, um, the older operating system may not work so well. So if you have an older computer, it might be a bit of a stretch to download and install Anaconda. The other thing which probably won't bother most users, but if you're sort of a um, intermediate computer user and you actually do command line interface work in Linux or um, well, not so much an issue with Windows, but installing Anaconda does some things to your uh, command line uh, interface. And so if you don't want your, if you don't want that to be messed with on your computer, then you should read up a little bit more about what that does um, with the Anaconda installation. So I'm gonna just take a moment now and show you what Anaconda looks like. So if you download Anaconda, one of the things that comes with it is this thing here, which is called Anaconda Navigator. And Anaconda Navigator basically shows you all of the applications that are a part of the Anaconda uh, system. N they aren't actually all installed when you uh, download Anaconda. So in order to actually use them, you'll, you'll notice that the um, applications here that I have never installed and used have a button that says install. So the first time you open Anaconda Navigator and you wanna use RStudio or Jupyter Notebooks or Spiders, you're gonna to have to click the install button and then wait even longer while it does the installation. But since I've already used Jupyter Notebooks, I'll just go ahead and click on launch and we'll see what happens. 
It takes a little bit of time because it's actually starting up a web server on your computer locally. And then once that web server has started up, it connects to the web server and I see the um, navigation page of Jupyter Notebooks. I can tell that this is a local file and not a, a, a local web server and not somewhere else on the internet because when I look at the URL bar up at the top, it says localhost instead of HTTP. Um, if I want to use Spider, I can just click on the launch button there. And again, it takes a few moments for it to start um, loading. But then uh, after a little bit of time, the spider uh, interface will show up. Uh, and you can see this looks like what we were working on in some of the earlier lessons. Um, so it is possible once you've installed Anaconda to launch any of the applications uh, directly from Spotlight Search or if you're on Windows from the search box or from your start menu. Um, you don't have to use Anaconda Navigator, but um, I feel it's a pretty easy way to just go ahead and launch the applications with a one button click.